Did you realize that continuously dry steering will wear down your tires faster? Welcome back to your home garage and in this video I'm going to discuss why you should keep your dry steering to a minimum. First off, dry steering is turning the steering wheel of a vehicle whilst the vehicle is stationary. Most modern cars have power assisted steering, making dry steering relatively easy. Dry steering in a car without power assisted steering, if you remember those days, often requires significant effort in order to turn the wheel. So this bears the question, exactly how bad is dry steering for your vehicle? Well, dry steering is not recommended as it's potentially damaging to the front tires and causes undue strain on the car's steering components. Due to the car being stationary, you are essentially tearing the tires against the rough surface of the tarmac as you turn the steering wheel. This can scrub your tires or potentially cause ripping of the rubber if small stones are embedded within the tarmac. If you've ever tried to dry steer a car without power steering, you will appreciate how much force and load is placed on the steering columns, racks, bearings, and other steering components. This can be somewhat demonstrated by trying to steer your car while stationary without the engine running as power assisted steering requires the engine to be running to function. It's hard to do, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Dry steering may appear relatively easy with power steering, though unnecessary force is still being applied to the steering components. It's just the power steering doing all the work, making it appear light work to the driver. As dry steering in excess may cause the front tires to wear more quickly than expected, modern well-built cars have structural components that are strong and in general will not see any detrimental effect of dry steering providing it's not done regularly. Unfortunately, dry steering may be unavoidable in certain conditions, such as maneuvering out of a very confined area, such as being sandwiched in between two vehicles. And if a front wheel just happens to be too close to a curb, turning the wheels or dry steering may force one of the wheels against the curb. This causes huge force on the sidewall of the tire, the wheel, and the steering components. Dry steering is just a habit that is generally best avoided. There you have it. Now you know the concerns about dry steering and why you should avoid it as much as possible or just keep it to a minimum in those unavoidable situations. Try to keep your car moving while steering. Even moving very slowly whilst turning will help reduce tire damage. So make sure you help to keep this channel going by hitting that like button, sharing this video with a friend, also, please comment below as I reply to all. Plus, don't forget to subscribe. And we'll see you next time on Your Home Garage.